did you ever thought about how advertising could look like at the, on the mobile? It's not working with the normal banners. That's what uh, Christian is saying. <laughs> I had to look, sorry, <laughs> saying. So how could it work? How could advertising on the mobile work? Okay, so we have a couple of ideas how we can make advertising different on the mobile phone because um, the screen is very small, the formats are different, so um, therefore we put all our energy on coupons on the mobile phone. So it can be coupons for uh, a 10% store discount at an Adidas store, for example, um, or it could be also a coupon then redeemable um, mobile or online again, so like for a download of a mobile game, for example. So um, online and offline kind of coupons, which... So um, you mix the both worlds completely up. R right, yeah. We, I mean, uh, the multi-channel strategy is something more and more retailers and brands are looking into, and it's not, you're not only on the web or on your mobile, you're mixing between both worlds. Um, you have a good example with Akaaki, for example, mobile social network, who is not only mobile, but also on the web, so that's uh, something uh, we we consider and, and look and to, so that both words you can combine and um, therefore have a different form of advertising on the mobile phone so not taking up the band the screen of um, yeah. like a force of the screen also is taken off by a banner um, the screen is so small anyway so I wouldn't even recognize which kind of advertising it is so. right but well, either you don't recognize because it's so small or even the inverse is happening um, you have almost half of your screen um, covered by advertisement and the real the content you want to access is not there so you're annoyed and you're yeah. Even pages like uh, Spiegel.mobile, um, so a uh, good yeah. German um, news site, it's annoying that there's a lot of advertisement on it because you want to get to the content itself. Yeah, that's right. So you developed, uh, you came up with the idea of a new advertising model for the mobile. How did you hit up on that idea? What was your inspiration? Oh, the, the, the story is long, but... Um, the, Make it short in one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it all started off with um, location-based uh, ideas, and uh, actually location-based dating was the uh -huh. <laughs> initial idea. So from dating to advertising, that sounds interesting. <laughs> well, both you can make money probably, but um, in the, the location platform, that was the trigger where we looked deeper into, and um, uh, so location still is for us one of the drivers, but it's not the main driver, so in our model you have have also location-based coupon, which is a very interesting model for big advertisers like a McDonald's where the coupon can tell you the way to the next McDonald's for example mm -hmm. um, and uh, also for small advertisers I mean take uh, uh, small shops which want just present within their vicinity um, now not only in the web advertisement but uh, like shops around the shopping mall for example would like to get some traffic in their shops yeah. so um, through let's so let's come to the price uh, side so how much would it cost for a small shop to advertise on your portal uh, we start off with uh, small flick, uh, flat fee packages, so fixed packages of about uh, 20 to 50 euros um, a month, where then there's a, a, well, not unlimited, but uh, up to say about 2,000 coupons, which can be distributed then through the platform and used. Um, so that's the kind of entry level um, for uh, large advertisers and more sophisticated way we're going to move to a performance-based model so that we at the end charge not for sending out stuff, but for the redemption of a coupon, so that there's really no risk for the advertiser left. It's, um, but why do you only use that model for the bigger advertisers? Um, we will offer that the smaller as well, but we think uh, from what we see, it's uh, easier to understand if you put a flat fee package out there. So we will offer both, but the entry point will be the... And 20 to 50 euro also does not sound really like a huge amount, so for trying it out, it really yeah, lowers the entry barrier, yeah. right? So an entry barrier should be low everywhere on the advertiser side, so he gets a very simple web interface like uh, a Google, for example, AdWords interface where he just signs up and he puts off his offer and uh, puts it out there and then we make the distribution to now our own client but also... How do you find your users? 
Um, mainly through cooperation. So we want to leverage on uh, the brands and the retailers we are offering the advertising for. So for example, shopping malls is one point of entry. Mm -hmm. um, we also um, look into um, cooperations with uh, operators, um, starting off uh, with smaller um, MVNOs, for example, where we want to bundle within their portal for the offering. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there's another one, and this leads kind of to the second part of our offering. Um, we offer a library um, which can be included in any mobile application. Uh -huh. So take a mobile social network, take a mobile game um, through the library or a kind of uh, SDK, so Software Development Kit, they can include our coupon offerings in their application. And there we get again to the new way of advertisement. So it's not annoying to the user with a banner, but the user even gets a benefit afterwards of it. And um, through this, offering it to different um, applications so that they can monetize the offering so in a kind of affiliate so, model. Uh, multiply win-win. <laughs> win-win in, in any case, yeah. And, and really making um, the right message to the right person at the right time, at the right place, all these four components to a real uh, yeah, round offering and, and be simple and relevant to the consumer. Okay, the mobile market so far is still not very developed. Do you uh, sometimes yeah, still feel that? Do, are you still struggling in uh, selling your, 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 your things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are, I mean, we're starting off now, so um, we see interest, um, especially from larger advertisers. They are very much keen on now getting location-based advertising to work. Mm -hmm. And now not only technically, because from a technical standpoint of view, location is available since a long time, but the business model, that's the part where uh, we, we have developed now a concept, mm -hmm. including some technology where you can make it work for a small amount, like 20 to 50 euro for a small retailer, for example, mm -hmm. as well for a large one. So yeah. yeah, that's very good. That sounds pretty amazing. You've been at the Mobile World Congress uh, last month. So how were your experiences there? You've been uh, nominated for some award. Award, right? Did you yeah. win an award? Or? <laughs> well, we didn't win, but uh, it was the, was the uh, Navtech LBS challenge uh, where um, Scobbler, uh, the mobile network uh, of navigation, they won the prize there, so uh, congratulations to them. Um, but we had very good interaction with Navtech especially around the location-based advertising model. And again, there there have been 13 companies uh, showing, showcasing and demoing their applications. And um, I would say to almost all of them, we can offer a monetization module. So that's why for us, uh, Barcelona was a very good success, worth and, uh, worthwhile going and uh, okay. yeah. Who are your competitors? Um, there is competition out there in terms of um, yeah, I would say it's the web, couponing on the web. Um, there's couponing on the mobile phone as well, but that's usually um, simple campaigns um, where SMS or MMS coupons are sent. So there's no real continuing dialogue um, with the user. So we are aggregating different offers for the consumer um, and therefore make it more interesting, more relevant for him and do profiling then, of course, to get better offers to the consumer as well. So you have a real innovative business model for the mobile industry. I think so, yes. Okay. Are you uh, invested? Uh, are you financed? Uh, up to now, we're bootstrapping. Mm -hmm. So we're um, five people um, since a while already. Um, we have one lead where it uh, looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we're going to soon have enough. Well, on the one hand side funding, but on the other hand, we are working with two major German-based uh, companies um, where we could uh, generate some first revenue as well. So um, if either of them works out, then uh, that doesn't finance us uh, until the end of 2020, probably. <laughs> but um, this will give us some first uh, revenues. Okay. But your launch will be... Uh, so we launch officially in second quarter in Berlin mm -hmm. um, with a very localized uh, offering for uh, Berlin-based retailers. Um, and as soon as we have the first uh, returns out of that launch, then we take it uh, quickly um, 
to other cities in Germany um, and want to take it international as well. Okay, so you're directly hitting for the international market. Do you think that it's uh, still too hard to, to get international outside of Europe? Or do you think, yeah, well, you do, it doesn't matter where you are, it, you can be successful? Uh, it depends a little bit on, on the model to answer the question. I think from our perspective where we have a hybrid offering, a mobile, web and offline, mm -hmm. um, the part which is mobile web only can be taken easier mm -hmm. international, the, where you have offline sh uh, involvement um, is more difficult. Um, even though the US is a very big, especially coupon mark, no, not on mobile necessary already, but on paper coupons. Um, but there's also there are two other companies uh, looking where, or working on that market, so um, we look into Asia. Okay. Um, and we've established first contact there. Um, and the uh, the Asian countries are very open to this. I mean, some of the ideas we implement come from Japan, for example. Um, so the, the Asian culture is very open to new technology which comes from Europe or the US. So uh, I think we have a good uh, opportunity. Um, and in, in your favor is also that you could use other mobile applications as multiplier for your idea, right? Absolutely. So that's where we where we see the, the absolute uh, leverage and the multiplier and to, I mean, to offer those application uh, to monetize the offering and for us to get uh, out to a broader community. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting business model. Thank you for sharing that idea with us. You're welcome. I wish you good luck with that. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.